What did you discover on your beach walk along the uh, the water here? There's a lot of eels, crab shoe, crab shoe crabs, and then there's a fish that has like bubbles coming out of its mouth and bubbles coming out of its stomach. It's oh. like it's about to explode. Oh, what is, how could you describe the smell of something like this? Like a fish market. Like a fish market. <laughs> it, it, it messes with your respiratory system. I went close to the, to the water and I started coughing and I couldn't take it and the smell, I couldn't take it. It was bad and it's sticky. It's like real, real sticky and it burns. It'll burn your cuts if you have a cut yeah. on your hand. Like mine started burning just from that, just from being out there you in the get water. Get up here to the showers, make sure you can set off right yeah. away. Yeah, and you were saying something about the sand conditions, Cliff. Well, up here, the sand is clean from the rain. The, the water in the Gulf doesn't get up here. So my idea was I was gonna come down here and sculpt the thing today, but uh, the smell is too, too bad. You're down here every Sunday on Siesta Key Beach carving these elaborate 12 foot long mermaids. <laughs> and uh, you had an art project in mind for today, specifically yeah. in response to Red Tide. What, what was your art idea today, Cliff? I was going to do a dead mermaid, but uh, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to do that. You know, that it, the conditions got better. So. No, it's, it's just too dangerous and too perilous to play in the sand here. We would have loved to see your mermaid, oh, the mermaid that you were about to make. Wow. Oh, people are missing a lot. I mean, ordinarily this is a beautiful Sunday right. and the beach would be just filled with folks from all over the world, I must say, coming to this we exquisite... We just some people from a different country. We don't know where they're from, but they seem very disappointed because I know they flew a long people. way to get here and they're not from here. Well, some and of the hotels was, are like giving refunds to people who are well, going home. Well, we're saying that they gave refunds. Yeah, they out. gave people refunds. People were just out. giving out. Yeah, yeah, they were leaving. They was like, we can't, we can't stay. We come here for the beach, mm -hmm. and we're not staying. And they were like, okay, we'll give you a refund. But what can they say? The what businesses can they do? are losing money now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, I describe this as an environmental holocaust mm -hmm. because yes. we're just being, you know, <laughs> yeah. just the, the incredible the smell, suffering. You smell that? Yeah, that's the stench well, of death in the air, actually. Except it's going to get worse it's and worse. It's going to get worse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ruth, okay, let's go, go down and... Well, and let's go down to the water and see what awaits us there. Water. Thank you, Pammy and Tammy yeah. from Georgia. You're Make welcome. sure you get to the Tamiami Trail. <laughs> so we got Pammy and Tammy on the Tamiami. E easy for me to not say. <laughs>